Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Gatsby. Today we are in episode number 6. As always, I am Shane Thomas. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at smthomas3. And today we're going to be talking about how you can take your Gatsby site and your Drupal backend if you've been following in the past episodes. And we're going to turn on a live preview. Uh, one of the problems if you have really worked with Drupal and Gatsby together is you know that as you're changing your content on your Drupal site, it's not immediately previewable. You can't see how it's going to look when it builds on your Gatsby site. So that's what we're going to solve today. We're going to learn how you can set it up. It's really actually pretty simple. And let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is you want to make sure you have your Drupal site ready. And in this case, I have my Drupal site here. You need to download and install the Gatsby Live Preview module. So this module is in alpha status. I am a maintainer of this module. Uh, so it, it's still a work in progress, but it does work. Uh, if there's any issues that you run into along the way, definitely let me know. All you need to do is just install it. Once the module is installed, as you can see, it's here. You can go to configuration, Gatsby live preview settings, and you're going to need to put in a Gatsby preview server URL. So what's a Gatsby preview server URL? Well, essentially, it's a URL for a running Gatsby development server that your Drupal site will send changes to so you can live preview those changes. The best way to do this and to get your own Gatsby preview server URL set up is to go to gatsbyjs.com. So what is gatsbyjs.com? Well, you probably know gatsbyjs.org but there's actually a cloud services a company behind Gatsby and what they'll have Gatsby preview they have Gatsby builds that are coming out essentially they're cloud services that help power your Gatsby site make them better build faster allow live preview we're just going to be going over how live preview works today so if you click on start using Gatsby preview you can see you can start a 14 day free trial I've already done this so I have a couple sites here but in order to actually create a site, you have to create a GitHub repo with your Gatsby site. So I just took the previous code that we've been working on in the past episodes, I committed it to Git, I created a repo on GitHub, and, and that's it. You can make it private or public. I believe I have this one public, uh, but, so you should be able to go here if you want to. But it's really easy to get started. Just push it up, and you should be ready to go. Now on the gatsbyjs.com dashboard page, you can click Create New Site you can click add my own site and then you're going to want to select your repository here so I will just select Gatsby preview it's going to ask you to go through integrations you can skip that step because you're kind of setting up your own integration with Drupal and then it's going to give you some setup information so I've already went through this so you can see I have this Gatsby preview right here so if I go to view details it gives me a Gatsby preview a URL here and what this does is the first time it builds your site if I were to go to this website you can see it's the site we've been working on so if I go to slash articles it's going to allow me to see the articles page so you can see I have the article listing here and all I needed to do to actually get this to talk to my Drupal site or get my Drupal site to actually talk to the preview site is take this URL right here go back into this admin form and drop it in click Save and now it's set up to work what this means is now my content is going to be able to be live previewed on this Gatsby site so let's actually take a look at what that looks like so if I open this up over here and I go to the Drupal site over here. Let's take a look. And let's just go ahead and edit this. And you can see this is a, a view page here. So it's not on, I'm not on the individual page. And let's just try just changing the title. I could make something bold if I want. I could change this content so you can see. You're not gonna be able to see it here because it's just the teaser. Let's just change something so you can see that it's going to change the body text as well. Now go down and I'll click Save. 
you can see it's changed here. So the body text didn't actually change, but it should change. If I go here, you can see it's changed in that spot. It, this is now bold. I can change the image if I'd like. If I uploaded a different image, it would it would change here. So let's see if I have a different image. Um, let's try try this. Just put the Code Karate logo in there and see how that looks. There we go. So you can see it immediately changes and is previewable in my Gatsby preview site when I change content on my Drupal site. One thing to keep in mind though is you if it's not working for you there are a few considerations if we look at the pattern and if you followed the past videos it will work but if you just coming with your own a Gatsby site and Drupal site there might be a few things that don't seem to be working right for you if it's not immediately previewable make sure you're following this pattern so in Gatsby node we're essentially just select loading all our content from Drupal and passing in the ID to our template and then you can see if I go to my template I have a query in my template a page query that loads in that specific ID and so it builds and pulls all the content on this specific template And if you follow that pattern then when you when Gatsby uh, the Drupal module sends the data to your preview server it's going to be able to rebuild that page for you so just uh, know that that's a one kind of gotcha in order to make sure that your pages are getting built correctly so that's it for this time on the daily dose of Gatsby as you can see it's really easy to set up Gatsby live preview uh, with Drupal and a Gatsby site next time uh, we're going to actually go over how you can run this locally. Maybe you don't want to use Gatsby's preview service. Maybe you need, need to test it in a local development environment because you want your content editors or your developers to be able to test things as they're actually developing out the site. So we'll go over how you can set that up next time. You don't have to use Gatsby's preview service, though I do recommend starting with it so you can see it working. Um, it is very helpful, especially if you're going to have content editors consistently editing content on your site. That's it for this time. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.